Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to get data in Python using APIs. So we will learn how to make API calls and it's a fairly simple process, it's a five step process and I'll take you through that. And before we begin, I've got a few uh, links I would like to share with you. So uh, what is an API? To get a better description, you can probably watch this video. Don't worry about it. I'll leave a link to this video in the show notes. And all it says is that you can liken, uh, so it draws an analogy where it says that uh, an API is probably like a waiter. So you go to a restaurant and you want to get some food. So waiter is somebody who acts as an interface between you and the kitchen at the restaurant. So you tell the waiter what you want. He goes in and he tells, he gives the order and something happens inside and then you get your order back. It's the same with data. So you want some data from some site and you make an API call and then the API inter sends the call internally something happens and then the A API come gets back the data to you. So that's a high level description. I would recommend going through uh, this documentation on, uh, on Python on requests which we will use to make the API calls. And I am going to make the API call to the data set at available at data.gov. And you can get an API key from here by uh, clicking on get an API key. So I've already retrieved the API key and I'll open the code for you and take you through it. So the first one is that you need to import the package or whatever you uh, module you're going to use to import data from an API. So in this case, it will be import requests, as you can see. So the second one is that you uh, send a request and get a response object. So I've got this where I've got the API key. And I'm saying this is where I want this from this API, I want the data. And I'm passing some parameters. So this is a request dot get. So I've imported requests, then I'm getting a result where I'm passing the URL. The third step is we check the status code. So if uh, the API call has been successful, it returns an integer, otherwise no. So we will run to see what is the status code. And then we will get data in different formats and we'll go through it. So I've got uh, Jupyter Notebooks open and you can probably go and uh, do it in your own Jupyter Notebooks. So as I said, the first step is to import uh, requests. So I'll just hit shift and enter and it uh, has imported requests for us. Second is we uh, create an object called result. So we will hit enter. So this call, has, the second one has been executed. Now the third one is we will see what is the status of our call or so I'll just hit shift enter again and it returns an integer which means that the status call has been successful. The fourth process, the fourth is we look at what we've retrieved. So result.txt. And you can see it is showing us all the data that it has managed to retrieve for us. And that's a lot of data if you scroll through it. And this can, depending on whether, how you want to process it. So you could probably just get the text or in uh, certain cases, you might just want to get the data in JSON format. And since in this case requests does support that, so we will just say result.json. I'll again hit shift and enter. And I think I need to do this. And it's a call. So as you can see, it is now giving us the data in JSON format. So it's, it's a quick one. In this video, we learned how to uh, get data from APIs. Um, and uh, so the first step is to import requests. You could use something else, up to you. And then the second is you pass the URL. So you could probably uh, type that URL string in some URL in some string and then just pass request.get in that URL or that name of that string the where you've stored the URL. And then you check the status and then you can retrieve the data. So fairly simple. Uh, I hope you find this video useful and I will leave all the links I've mentioned in the video notes so you can access them. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. I've enjoyed making this tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. Please do subscribe to my channel. If Please do like it if you like it. Uh, leave some feedback and comments if you would like me to take up some other topics. 
and yeah subscribe to my channel thanks for your time uh, thanks